Okay guys, so the first thing that we want to do is choose the qualifier and then the icon all the way on the left which allows us to choose the specific color, brightness, and saturation that we want. So let's come up here to the footage and let's drag from his hand all the way through his arm because even though the colors are similar because it's his skin, the brightness is not. Now if we need to add more areas, we can choose this icon with the plus sign and drag it around the new areas that we need. For example, the dock area under his arm isn't selected. So we can continue to use the addition icon and drag it over areas that are similar but differently lit. And you can see here as we scrub through the footage, it's doing a really decent job. We do have to be careful here. Let's say we wanted to get rid of his hair in this selection. If we use the minus icon, you can see that it erases the dark areas, including areas that we've already chosen. So let's undo that. Now that we have a good key, let's look at this area which includes terms like black clip, white clip, clean black, so on and so forth. Our reference footage shows a gray background and then whichever color we chose, including the brightness and the saturation, exactly how it appears in the footage itself. So let's choose this icon and now we can see it in black and white, which we alluded to before. Looking at the footage, you can see that the areas that we selected are white and everything else is black. But you may also notice that the selection isn't perfect. There are holes in the selection which include areas of gray. Now we briefly addressed this in the color wheel tutorial, but I'll link to it here. But I bring that up because the white clip actually applies a gain adjustment to the gray areas, so now those gray areas are going to be more white. And as you can see in the black areas, they have some dark gray. And what we can do is apply a lift adjustment and bring those areas down to black. The way we do that is with the black clip. The clean white option has to do with filling in the holes in our selection so that they turn white. And of course the clean black has to do with crushing everything else down to black. So the difference between the clip options and the clean options is that the clip options bring the gray areas either to black or to white. So essentially you're adding more contrast to the footage. The clean options have to do with cleaning up the small areas in our selections so we don't have all these holes floating around. Now just be careful with your footage because the farther that you push these, it will start to break down and look a little strange. Now if there's some areas that you still see have holes in them and you've already made all your adjustments, you do have a few options. You can go down to the bottom and make some manual adjustments. Or if it's still a decently sized area, you can try using the addition icon to see if it selects more of that area. Another thing you could do is create an additional node and then deselect the other options as far as hue, saturation, and lightness and only focus on one of those options. This way, if it's a specific lightness in a specific area, you could always go in there, make that additional selection, and then continue your modifications on another node down the line. Now a good habit to get in when you're selecting footage like this is to scrub through your footage using the black and white option. This way it will become extremely obvious whether or not you still have holes in your selection or if everything is starting to look more clean. So now that we have our selection, just to top it off, let's go up to the nodes and let's add an outside node. And what this will do will inverse our selection. So let's work on that part first. Let's come over to offset and put a color cast over the newly selected areas which again is the opposite of everything that we selected before. Just to drive the point home, I've selected the black and white again, and you can see as we scroll through the footage that everywhere else is white. So any adjustments that we make on that node are going to be reflected only in those areas. Now for the skin, I'm going to go to the other node, and what I'll do here is add some orange into the gamma option. Now again, if you're not sure what the gamma option does, go ahead and check out my color wheel tutorial. But basically, not only do I want to adjust the colors in this footage, but particularly on his skin, I want to raise the luminance a little bit, so that way it's a little more bright. So let's go ahead and see us side by side, and we can see the brightness and the color adjustments. One thing we didn't address here, but you also have the option of doing, of course, is using the blur radius and the in and out option. If you notice, when you make a selection, it's a hard stop from where the white turns white right to the black. Now, depending on your footage and the selection that you're trying to make, maybe you don't want it to be that obvious or that abrupt. So, of course, you can add a blur radius to kind of smooth everything out. Of course, you don't want to drag that too far because in this case, for example, it will not only select his skin, but you'll start to see his shirt again. 
Having said that, this is where the in and out option comes into play. You could go almost a little too far with the blur and then take the in and out option and slide the point where this happens. This way you can get your selection really precise, but you'll still have that blur. Don't forget to check out Amazing Music Tracks. You can get a 10% discount with my code at the end of this video. If you had any questions about any of the tools within that area and I didn't address them here, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and grab yourself some music tracks over at Amazing Music Tracks and don't forget about my code. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.